everybody, Bo Hoosh here speaking for photodeoxpro.com. Once you've bought your camera, you've bought some lenses, maybe you've bought a couple lights, you're probably looking for a three light kit. That's the question we get the most here at photodeoxpro.com. Uh, we've made LED lights for a long time, but the question that keeps coming in is when are we gonna make a three light kit? You know, LED panels are cool, flapjacks are cool too, but sometimes you just need the versatility of a three light kit, three matched lights with lots of mounting versatility, lots of power, lots of portability. So we've done that with the LED 100 WB three light kit, which is right here. If you unzip the case, you look inside, You've got three of our LED 100 WB lights, and you've got a mounting, uh, mounting guy on the front here for Alien B accessories, so lots of things you can tack on. Plus you get diffusers, you get soft boxes, you get stands all in the case, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. When we set out to create our own light kit, we started thinking about, well, what goes into a three light kit? And so I had to uh, unpack my light kit from film school. Now this guy's kind of old, but um, they still sell light kits just like this for about 1500 bucks. I've got one set up right here. It's kind of a tuna fish can with a light bulb in it. But back in the day, it did the job. I've got three lights here. They're 400 watts. Uh, you get all the stuff you need. You get a little light. Here's uh, some light modifiers you clip on. You've got the power cords and the cases all in one box. And that's all well and good. But we've moved along into LEDs, and that's why we created the LED 100 WB kit. Uh, because with an LED, you run cool, you run powerful, but you don't draw a lot of power out of the wall outlet. The uh, 100 in the LED 100 tells you that we draw a max of 100 watts, but you get the equivalent light of this guy. So with three lights, you're ready for any lighting situation, whether you're doing an interview, whether you're doing some drama, uh, whether you're doing something like time lapse or slow motion, you've got a nice three light setup. Fill light, key light, backlight, you're ready to go. In fact, these two lights right here that I've got pushed out to the sides, these are what are illuminating me. I've got my fill, I've got my key, and then I've got some soft boxes filling out the rest here. But these guys are doing most of the work. And the kit includes diffusers, reflectors, and even two foot soft boxes for all three lights. Um, the kit, you chuck it in the back of your car and you're pretty much ready to go for whatever your location demands of you. So let's take a look specifically at one of these lights. Here's the LED 100 WB. If you follow our adventures here at Photo Deox, you'll know that we had a product called the 100 WA, and we took that same technology and made it smaller. The WA actually won an award from Popular Photography a couple years ago because they liked how versatile the light is and how affordable it was, and basically we we're bringing people a lot of power for not a lot of money. And um, they liked it for photography too. You know, these are great for video or still photo. More people who are shooting still photos are shooting kind of in a WYSIWYG style. They wanna know that the thing that they see in the live view window on their camera is what they're gonna get. And these are perfect for that. So as you can see, very compact. Uh, the Alien B clip on the front can clip to this reflector like so. We've also got a diffuser sock that goes on the end here. And then the soft box that's included in the kit also clips right on the front. But you can just operate it like this if you want and keep it nice and small. Now, the power supply is very compact. It's this guy right here. It hangs from a cord like so. So this is really easy to hide, easy to tuck away. It's even got some mounting lugs so you can hammer that on the wall if you need to. And we've got a wireless remote control for this guy. So it can dim from zero to 100% power. And even if you've got it up someplace where you can't reach it, wireless remote will help you control it. And that's one really significant difference between this and a conventional tungsten light. With tungsten lights, some of them do offer some kind of dimming. The problem is the color temperature changes over the course of that dimming. So that means you have to re-white balance every time you adjust. That's why when people are shooting a film, you'll see them moving a light in and out of the scene. That's how they're controlling how much light is hitting the actors. Here, you don't have to do that. Plunk this down anywhere, and you can either dial in how much light you want using the knob or the wireless remote. Plus heat. The big killer with tungsten lights is heat. I used this uh, thermometer gadget right here, which means you don't have to touch the, touch the light to measure. And uh, this guy got up beyond 200 degrees in like 10 seconds. So you couldn't touch it at all. Whereas one of these guys that we've had on all day peaked out at about 85 degrees. So you can still touch it, you can still modify, you know, work with all your modifiers and stuff without any kind of problem. 
The other thing, of course, is this has bulbs that will never burn out. Uh, these are rated for a life of something like 30,000 hours, which is eight hours a day for the next 20 years. This guy, you have to make sure to always bring spare bulbs with you because uh, when you transport these guys, they're very vulnerable. Uh, it always happens at the worst possible time. Another problem with the heat, of course, is not only is it uncomfortable, but it'll burn through a lot of accessories that you add on here unless you mount them just right. Uh, gels, you have to use special gels that can clip onto these lights. Whereas with an LED light, because it runs at such a cool temperature, you can use theater gels, you can use DJ gels, which are cheaper and come in way more colors. In fact, we shot a video showing these lights burning through a lot of things, just to demonstrate just how much heat is hitting your actors or hitting your subject. If you shoot food, even if you're shooting inanimate stuff, that heat gets in the way really fast. Whereas with the LED 100WB, you're never gonna run into that. So you get tons of power, without drawing a ton of power out of the wall. The 100 in the name means we only pull a max of 100 watts when this guy is going at full tilt boogie. So you can use these in a regular house. You don't need to have special studio wiring to get the most out of these lights. Now a major concern that people have when shooting with LED lights is flicker. Now we've designed the LED 100 WB not to flicker at all while you're shooting at video frame rates, but if you wanna shoot slow motion, these guys don't flicker at all. So if you're shooting at 60 frames a second, which most cameras support, or 120 frames a second, which more and more cameras are supporting, these lights are ready to go. Here's a bunch of footage that we shot at 120 frames a second. Nice, solid looking light, no flicker at all. Our shutter speed is 1 250th because you're supposed to shoot double whatever your frame rate is. But we got adventurous and with this exploding balloon footage, we cranked it up to 1 1,000th shutter speed because we wanted to get really crisp water droplets in midair. And the LED 100 WB totally performed. So for those of you who want to crunch some numbers, here are some exposures that you can expect with the LED 100 WB. Now if you're shooting 1 50th shutter speed for video, which is kind of the normal shutter speed for video, if you're shooting at 200 ISO, you're gonna get an F8 at one meter. If you're shooting at 400 ISO, you can shoot at an F11 at one meter. Now that's just with one of these lights. If you've got all three going, you're talking um, at a 200 ISO, you can shoot at an F14 at one meter. Or if you're shooting at a 400 ISO, you can shoot at an F20 at one meter. And of course, it's gonna change depending on how your lighting setup is and such things, but we wanna convey to you that these are powerful little LED lights, possibly the most powerful that you've used so far, and they come in a nice kit that's ready to go. That's what I look for in a kit. You know, this is what I looked for 25 years ago. Oh, I wasn't gonna tell you that. Well, 25 years ago when I was looking for a kit for shooting on film, this was the guy I chose because any lighting situation that came along, I could make this work. So we've recreated that today using modern technology that's ready for your modern DSLR filmmaking. If you want to learn more about these lights, just click on the link down below this video. You'll be taken to a catalog page with all the details. Oh, and don't forget, if you don't want to get three lights, this is also available in a one light kit. And um, the LED 100 WBs work great as just a solo three light kit or as the core of a much larger lighting scheme. So you'll never outgrow these. So again, click down below to learn more and don't forget to click right here to subscribe. You'll get more videos just like this one. My name is Bahush. Thanks for watching.